All right, so we're going to talk about tactics in chess. And these are basic tactics that everyone should know if you're going to play a game. So the, one of the first things you should know is the double attack. So this pawn here is attacking two different pieces. It's attacking the bishop and the knight at the same time. So on the next move, I could take one or the other. It's defended with the rook. All right, so that's how you do, do a double attack. There, are, there is a lot of other stuff going on on this board, and this would never actually happen in a real game. Um, there is a lot of other stuff going on in this board, and this would never actually happen in a real game. But here we go. We're in check, and also the queen is behind it. When there's a more important piece um, being attacked, and there's a lesser important piece behind it that's what's known as a skewer kind of like a shish kebab skewer but you know um anyway so the bishop is attacking the king the king can't take the bishop because of the pawn and on the next move when the king moves um the queen will fall and also it's important to note that this is a double check the knight is also attacking the king and the queen and the opposite, well, it's not really the opposite, but the opposite of um, a skewer is a pin. So we, now we have a less, lesser uh, important piece in front of a more important piece. So we have the bishop that can take the knight, but the knight can't move because that would be check. And that's not a legal move in chess. It's also important to note that there are things called um, discovered attacks. So if this knight was to move out of the way and this pawn was to come forward, then the bishop would take the knight, or it could take the knight, just because it moved forward. The pawn. You can also double attack on the king, or a discovered check, or, yeah, well, you can do the same thing on the queen as well. And then it's also important to note that when this rook comes to here, the game would be over. And because there's no way there's no way to stop the, the king from being taken on the next move. So that's a big back rank mate. <sighs> um what else do we have here? Uh we have a fork, which the knight can take the king and also the queen. Um, and I just kind of set this up randomly. And this one. And and that's that covers all of the special moves that we would use in chess. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's everything. And this would never appear in a real game. And you can't see the analysis board because this isn't a legit game at all. And while the king still has a place to move, this is ridiculous. And I guess we'll talk about knight forks first. And so we saw that we could take the king and queen on the last game with the knight, or at least fork between them. And a fork is just when you move... Here, we'll go ahead and go into the analysis board here. When you move and threaten two different pieces at the same time with one piece. And knights are really well known for this tactic. Um, so the king is in check. You must move the king. All right, there's no way to take the knight. Um, so we have to move the king somewhere. But when we do this, then the queen will fall. And the game is pretty much over at this point. There's no way that a, a king and a knight will ever be able to combat a, a queen and a knight. Unless there's some kind of fork here. Which there isn't. Um, so that's that mate. Or, well, it's that, that, that's that fork. There's another fork here. Where the knight can again take... And also gain a piece and check the king and now the queen falls. 
even though there's no queen on the white side, this is still a winning position. You move the king out, and then the queen falls, and now you're three points ahead of your opponent when all pawns are even. And that game is pretty much over as well. All you do is go around collecting up all the pawns with the knight. And also taking them with your other pawns. And what you want to do is get your pawn to the back rank first and then queen. That will end that game. And we have another position set up here. And this one is not so drastic. It's white to move. And we set up the analysis board. And we can see that we can fork both the rook and the king. And then now that the king has to move, let's say it moves here, you still take the knight. Or, not the knight, but the rook. And that's, you're, you're winning an exchange there. You're gaining five points for three. Again, we have a knight and a queen fork here. We can see that the king is in check and also... The queen is under attack. So we just push here and then king goes there and then king falls and that's a winning game. Over here we have sort of the same thing. And it's white to play and we just push here. And we'll go into analysis board. moves and we take and it's sort of the same thing here and on this board and then we just move the knight to the king square and we attack the king and the queen at the same time and even if he takes we're still winning and this is actually made really fast um So now we have the same sort of thing, we just take the pawn, and sometimes that's hard to see, um, that the pawn can just fall, because you think, oh, there's a piece there, you can't go there, and that's not true. So king is in danger, move it out of danger, we take the, the queen. And also, again, we'll just go to the analysis board, and... We again have the same sort of setup where black can take and also the king is in danger so it has to move somewhere. And now the queen falls. And analysis board. And this is the same kind of fork where you see the king go and then now it's in check again and if it moves back you just take the rook. And so we've gained a queen and a rook just because of bad moves by the black black's position. And we will do another little fork here. Actually I'm having trouble finding that one. Oh, this one isn't this wasn't this is not a fork on a king and a queen. This is a fork on the Queen and Bishop. So he's going to lose. And really, this isn't a good one because right, that makes no sense. And actually, if we go back and look at it, there's a better one when we go here and take the Bishop. And then we take the Queen. And then we're going to go to Analysis Board. And we're down a bunch of material. All right. We're down two pawns. So we need to gain those two pawns back. And we, we fork the king. And the rook. And the rook falls. And this is a completely winning position. If you know how to play it. Um, so analysis board again. It's black to play. What do we do? We fork the rook and the king again. And it can move anywhere, it doesn't matter. We just gained a rook for nothing. 
lost a knight, and that's fine. We have a rook. And on the next move, we just come there. Maybe he goes here. We go here and start collecting pawns. Yeah, there's a check. It's not that big of a deal. Even if he goes here, then we just move away. We'll move here. Because there's no there's no more checks there. And he takes the pawn or whatever. We collect our pawn. And there's no fork here, so... We just gain all the pawns, and now what we want to do is push our, our pawns to the back rank. So that was forking pieces with knights. You can also set up... Let's say we have a bishop here. And we have a black rook here. A black rook here. This is a fork between these two pieces here. Because one of these rooks are, is going to fall. All for a bishop. Um, and really, if this was here, it would be a better fork. <sighs> and this wasn't here. And then that's, that's an even better position. Alright, so we've covered that one. And we can also fork with the... We'll put a queen on the board. And we'll put a white queen on the board. And we'll work out that way. And we would push here. And this is a fork between two pieces. You're attacking two pieces at once. It's actually backed up in this position. So now he's in check. He's going to lose either the rook or the queen. Or the bishop. Whichever you want to do. But it's most likely you want to take the queen. Because now the king has to move out of the way, and then the queen falls. And then, yes, it can be recaptured, but then we win back a piece. Um, Alright, so that's, that's, how, that's basically how you fork in chess, with the bishop, the knight, and a rook. And, like, even you can set up... quite different position here and it can't just be taken because the knight will and yes you can gain a knight by going here but you're still gonna lose a rook ah, there we are and actually that's not a good position because a pawn can take but no it can't so and that is forking pieces it's we covered attacking two pieces at once discovered attack um, pins and skewers and then we'll cover each one of those other ones in more detail all right so we're going to talk about skewers and so basically a skewer is when you have a more important piece in front of a lesser important piece but still valuable obviously so now that in this example the king would have to move out of the way somewhere and you would take the more valuable or the less valuable piece behind it and sometimes that's the queen all right so that's that example it's kind of the opposite of a pin where in a pin you have the least expensive piece you can in front of your king and in this case it'll be black that's doing the damage and the king has to move out of the way and you scoop up the queen Um, alright, so in this one, there is a pawn in the way, but that can be taken. And the bishop can't because of the rook. And the king has to move, then you lose the rook. And this one is backed up by the bishop. You move the rook to here, the king must move out of the way. And then you take the queen. Um, alright, so queen to the back rank, that's a check, push here, actually they can't move there because they have to move here, and you take the rook. That's a win all the way around. Um, this time it's black to play, and it's a check. Check must be avoided, and there's that with the queen gone. 
it is black to play and we need to find a pen on the queen um, the king moves here and the queen falls and then it's black to play again it just moves in front of the queen moves over and the rook falls queen goes up here and goes there queen takes it's white to play it's black to play actually in this one um, and we lose the knight here and the pawn is enabling the queen to be lost and our last one the king is in check must move out of check and takes All right that was that game so so we're gonna be looking at double attacks and here's the first one basically I'm just gonna be running through these and so what this does is attack the king king has to move away and take the knight all right um same kind of deal here this is usually in the beginning of the game and the king's here the rook's there you take the the pawn and now the king has to block it can block this way, it can block that way, it can use the bishop. Um, and maybe that's a move. And then you lose the rook. And same kind of deal here. It's a check. That must be blocked. Or, and actually, or you move forward. Let's say it's a, a block, you take the queen. You move forward, you take the rook. You win either way. Um, Alright, so this one. It's the same kind of deal. It's a check. And then you know, it needs to be blocked or the king needs to move away. You drop the rook or the bishop. But most likely the rook. And then. Or if you want to go back. And... Put this here, put a black rook here, you take this piece, knight moves, but it didn't really have any good moves. So, that's about it for that. Alright, so we have... This is white to play. That makes more sense. And there's a check here. Same kind of deal. You have to block or you have to block here or the king and then you drop the knight and then the rook's under attack too. Um, here. So maybe moving the knight out. Let's stop that. Alright, so... Let's double attack. Let's see this. This is black to play. That makes more sense. Um, it's the same deal. You have to block and then take the knight. This is white to play. Oh, the bishop takes the pawn the rook or nightfall so if the rook moves here you take here and it captures but that would be a bad play because it would just get captured um all right so this is a knight fork and i have a video on that and then capture that after the king moves away um let's wait here so uh, Oh, it's black to play. 
and oh yeah it's a knight fork there and then the queen has to move away let's say it moves here you just take the the rope and then it is black to play again and this is just a simple king move because one of these two pieces is gone um if the knight moves away then the bishop falls if the bishop moves away then the knight falls put that one out and then oh this one so one of the rooks is going to fall yeah, that one or that one it doesn't as soon as he moves here um and this rook falls was here that's game white to play comes on here and then the knight falls or the rook falls so if the rook goes over put it to pawn knight falls and then like to play and this is just a capture of the pawn and these two pieces fall one of those two pieces fall and so bishop moves away then knight falls knight moves away bishop falls um the rook now well, We'll do it that way. The rook goes here. And one of these two pieces is going to fall. Whichever one. It doesn't matter because they can't protect each other. If the bishop comes to protect the knight, you just take the bishop. And then and then the knight or the knight. It's up to you. Um. Alright, so it's black to play. The rook comes down to here, takes one of the two bishops. They can't protect each other, so. And the last one. It is black to play, and the bishop is the forking piece here, and one of these two is gonna fall. If you move the rook to here, is that rook, and vice versa. Alright, so that's that video.